John Roseman wrote a very interesting article and I want to share this with you and it's your kids should not be the most important in the family. I recently asked a married couple who have three kids, none of whom are yet in their teens, who are the most important people in your family? Like all good moms and dads of this brave new millennium, they answered, our kids. Why? I asked. What is it about your kids that gives them that status? And like all good moms and dads of this brave new millennium, they just couldn't answer that question other than to fumble with appeals to emotion. So I answered the question for them. There is no reasonable thing that gives your children that status. I went to, on to point out that many, if not most of the problems they're having with their kids, typically stuff these days, are the result of treating their children as if they, their marriage, and their family exist only because of the kids, when it is in fact the other way around. Their kids exist because of them and their marriage, and they thrive because they have created a stable family. Furthermore, without them, their kids wouldn't eat well, would not have nice clothing to wear, would not live in a nice home where they live, enjoy the vacation they enjoy, and so on. Instead of lives that are relatively carefree, despite the drama to the contrary that occasionally happens, their children would be living lives full of worry and want. This issue really is at the heart of the matter. People my age know it's in the heart of the matter because when we are kids, it was clear to us that our parents were the most important people in our families. And that right there is why we respected our parents. It's why we looked up to them in general. It's why we looked up to adults. Yes, once upon a time in the United States, children were second class citizens to their advantage. It was clear to us, I speak of course in general terms, albeit accurate, that our parents' marriages were more important to them than the relationship with their children. Therefore, we did not sleep in their beds or interrupt their conversations. The family meal was at home, were regarded as the most important after school activities was with mom and dad. We talked a lot, we talked more with one other and they talked with you. For lack of pedestals, we emaciated early and more and more successfully than our children have since. The most important person in the army is the general. The most important person in a corporation is the CEO. The most important person in a classroom is the teacher. And the most important person in the family are the parents. The most important thing about children is the need to prepare them properly for the responsibility of being a citizen. The primary objective should not be raising a straight A student who excels in three sports and earns a spot on the Olympic team or goes to an A-list university and become a prominent brain surgeon. No, the primary objective is to raise your child with such a community and culture that they are strengthened. Our child is the most important person in our family is the first step to raising a child who feels entitled. You don't want that. Unbeknownst to your child, he doesn't need that. And neither does America.